Hello, welcome to Dartmouth Training Academy. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a pagination in ASP.NET Core application. So, at first, I just created uh, a normal ASP.NET Core application with the individual user accounts. So, by choosing that individual user account, it just had a migration as a user migration. So, for that, I'm going to update my database, update database. So, it just had an update. The database is updated with this basic application user. Uh, kind of stuff so and the second thing that I'm going to do is to add a model the model name is going to be the employee model so if we wanted to create a pagination we need some data so to create a CRUD operation for a data we need a model and also the controller with the CRUD operation. So let's do that. It would be better to having a salary with a double data type. And this is a primary key, and these are all the fields for the model that we have. is to add our data set inside of this application DB context. So let's do that. Prop DB set of employee, and then employees. Yeah. So. Uh, just import so now so now we just add some migration the employee created we just added a migration the employee created is over there and and next thing is going to update our database. So we get an update in our database. So just to check that out, we are going to the local database. So here, uh, I would like to check our database name, which is ASP.NET. Uh, pagination so let's take that out here asp.net pagination oh here it is so go to the tables and here is our uh, tables which is generated by us through the migration and only the employee table is created by us and other stuffs and all uh, created just by scaffolding it's a pre templated uh, stuffs so and the next thing we are going to do is to add a controller and we see and the controller name is going to be the employee and it's going to application db context so add that So we had some. Uh, so here it is. It just created a scaffolding of code with a CRUD operations. So let's check that out just by running our project. Okay, and this style is. Uh, it's it's not come by 
Uh, so this is a style which is generated from So this style is actually generated from uh, the Boots watch. So you may not get this style because I used the style from the Boots watch. So you can apply that. Employee. Oh, I'm sorry, the controller name is employees. So here it is. So for right now, I'm going to create a dummy data. So now I just populated some data. Um, it's it's a dummy data, and the problem uh, which is over here is uh, I need to scroll down to see uh, extra data. So there are three pitfalls. Uh, uh, by doing these kind of stuff. The number one is uh, if we had it, it's not a really actual problem when it comes to just 10 to 20 uh, amount, of, amount of data but if we have about more than a lakh or uh, a million data we have some problem. The reason is if we just query all the data at a stretch at the single query from the single query if we retrieve all the data the server would take a lot of time and uh, it, it it just takes to uh, it takes a lot of time to load the page because the query is heavy for the optimization people created uh, a stuff which is called pagination and which means we can we we can paginate some data uh, for example just a phi data to display in the first page if we wanted to look further down we got a click to the second page and so on and so forth so so let's do that just by so all we need to do that is to add a plugin we have an awesome plugin uh, which is called reflection IT MVC paging so I'm going to install that so after installing that plugin the first thing that I'm going to do is to add the service of the plugin in our startup class so let's do that the services dot add paging so I'm just adding the services dot add paging method at our configure services so and the second thing is to change some stuffs in the index over here so the first thing is I'm going to add a page value so by default I just set that to 1 I'm going to pass the parameter over here uh, which is helpful for the number uh, of pages that we are passing through in the routing so I'm going to add a query of underscore context dot employees dot as no tracking dot order by salary. So it's really good to add stuff by order by salary so the second thing is going to model model 
await paging list uh, where I need to import that dot create asynchronously and in this method uh, paging list dot create async we have three parameters one is the query parameter which is this one a query that we are passing to get the data and the second parameter is the page size and the third is the page index and the second parameter page size is uh, something like the second parameter page size is what the second parameter page size is what how many data should be present in a page and the page index is something which is uh, the index of the page whether it's going to be a first page second page whatever page depending upon our navigation so let's pass our first parameter which is query and second parameter as phi and the third parameter as the page which we got initialized over here so the page index is going to be one and i don't need this query need to be written so i just wanted to pass this variable so and we just uh, changed the stuffs in the uh, controllers action and finally we have to change uh, things in the UI here in the view uh, I'm just going to change this and paste the namespace which is actually required for this project and here I'm also going to paste the here uh, I'm going to invoke the paging of, uh, of this model and just by using the view component I'm just invoking the view component just like pager and paging list of this model and also it not only this should be in the top of the uh, page it also should be there in bottom so let's get down to the bottom and just paste this and we see page paging list and the component name which is actually available in the reflection it mvc dot paging dot something a tag helper which is just added the tag helper reference and we are making use of the tag helper for this model so let's run this project just to see the output okay we are not having the employee in the navbar so finally let's just add that stuff go to the layout page what i'm going to do is to copy this and paste and the action uh, the controller is going to be the employees and the action is going to be the index so just run the program again Oops. Just change the name. Apply. Reload. Apply. So just click over there to see the output. Here it is. The pagination. So actually we are having uh, about uh, 12, 11, 10 to 12 data. But we just split that into 5. And if we go we can navigate to page 2 page 3 and we can come back and forth previous next kind of things and finally and we can also change this stuff uh, which means we can also change the uh, page uh, list data just by 
and here we can also change the page size about 10 and run this again so directly I'm going to the employees so here it is and here we are having one two three four five ten data and the remaining four data will be there in the next page so that's it this is the paging uh, this is the uh, stuff uh, that we learned today how to create a paging using ASP.NET Core using the fantastic plugin which is Reflection IT's paging plugin and you can make use of that and you can and there are a lot of steps in that plugin we can also do uh, sorting filtering and those steps uh, you're going to learn in the upcoming videos so uh, please if you like this video please like this video share this video to your friends and if you have any doubts if you have any problems on doing this you can comment below and subscribe if you're not subscribed to dotnet training academy and please click the notification icon and in the upcoming videos we are going to see a lot more deeper in paging just like searching sorting kind of stuff